in, the president called for the sectoral meeting in order to review the mitigating measures for fu high fuel prices. And among those who attended the meeting were the Department of Transportation, the Department of Trade and Industry, uh, National Economic and Development Authority, Department of Budget and Management, Department of Interior and Local Government, and the Department of Information and Communication Technology, as well as the Department of Agriculture. So the, uh, uh, the highlights of the meeting resulted in the following. One, the president uh, gave instructions on changing the language of the 2024 GAA uh, provision on fuel subsidies for the transport sector in order to shorten the trigger period from uh, three months to one month and simplify the release requirements. Uh, for those of you who uh, are not familiar with the trigger per uh, period, whenever the uh, Dubai price per barrel exceeds $80 for three months, then that will be the trigger for the provision of subsidies to uh, the transport sector uh, drivers. Uh, public utilities, including tricycle and uh, and uh, other public uh, utilities. So with this uh, simplification or shortening of the period, we will be able to release the, uh, the subsidies uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, a shorter period of time. The second is the simplification of the uh, release requirements. So this time, as proposed by the Department of Budget and Management to Congress, the uh, guidelines will need only to be agreed upon by the Department of Budget and Management, the Department of Transportation, and the Department of Energy. And uh, these can be uh, released upon the finalization of the uh, list of beneficiaries by the Department of Transportation for those which have uh, franchises, and then for by the uh, Department of Interior and Local Governments for those uh, tricycle, uh, tricycle drivers in, uh, and by the Department of Trade and Industry for, uh, for uh, delivery, for delivery uh, uh, service drivers. The second <coughs> important point that was agreed upon was the uh, implementation of the voluntary 20% ethanol blend for gasoline which is targeted for approval by the end of uh, 2023. As, as uh, for those of you who are uh, who are uh, are using gasoline, you you know that we uh, we have a mandatory requirement of 10% blend of uh, ethanol with gasoline, and uh, the uh, the uh, new policy that we will be uh, implementing is voluntary and uh, raising it to 20%. And this is primarily a price mitigation measure because, the, uh, because ethanol, especially imported ethanol, is cheaper than the price of gasoline. So right now, the uh, price of, uh, of uh, gasoline uh, without ethanol is around uh, 50 at uh, 56.89, then uh, it, will, it will result in a price differential of around one peso and uh, 28 uh, centavos or, or up to even uh, one peso and uh, 50, uh, depending on, of course, on the prices. Local, the local ethanol price per liter is currently around 79 pesos or, and 49 centavos, which is higher than the, uh, the uh, imported ethanol, which is at 41 pesos and 44 centavos. But local production of ethanol uh, can only support 48% of the 10% blend, and therefore, the utilization of a higher share for, of imported ethanol will result in lower pump prices because of the uh, increased blend. 
And the, the, uh, the other is uh, the other measure which the president wanted the, the, uh, <coughs> the government agencies to work on is the continued electrification of the transport sector, particularly mass transport and light cargo vehicles. So the president uh, gave emphasis on the need one for having the, uh, the uh, charging stations uh, in place. Second, to make sure that the uh, benefits to the, uh, to the uh, transport sector, is particularly the drivers, will, uh, will indeed be, be there. Because right now, just from a fuel standpoint, the, uh, the estimated difference between uh, electric vehicles running per kilometer and, uh, and uh, those that are internal combustion engines using gas in di and diesel is quite significant. So for those using gasoline, the uh, per kilometer run is at 5 pesos, 30 centavos. But uh, for the uh, uh, light duty electric vehicles, it's uh, a range of one peso to 26 centavos to one peso to uh, and 90 centavos per kilometer. Whereas the cost for uh, those running on diesel is at uh, four pesos uh, per kilometer. Of course, these are based on assumptions of uh, the cost of gasoline at 70 per liter and the cost of diesel at 66 uh, pesos per per liter. Uh, the the uh, president also emphasized the need for for uh, preparing the the economy for the eventual manufacture of electric vehicles in the country and linking this up with the uh, uh, local mining sector uh, that will produce the uh, minerals needed for the production of of uh, batteries and other components of uh, electric vehicles. The, the uh, other that the, uh, pre that the president and the uh, uh, cabinet members considered was the increase in the cocoa methyl ester or the cocoa biodiesel blend from the current 2% to 3% and uh, which can actually be accommodated by the supply of feedstock given that uh, the total coconut production at this time is, uh, the entire country is at 15 billion nuts. And for the additional 1% blend, we need only an, an additional of 2.6 uh, uh, billion nuts. So uh, on, on the whole, the increase in uh, the blend can uh, also drive down the uh, cost of uh, cocoa methyl ester because they will be um, there. There will be a bigger market for for CME. So right now, we expect at least the the uh, the uh, diesel landed uh, price, the pure diesel to be at parity with the price of uh, cocoa methyl ester per liter. So I think these are uh, things that are uh, good news for our uh, consumers and our transport uh, sector. Thank you for watching Politico TV. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.